Mark Hassan, thank you for being with us today. Especially it has been, I believe, a hectic day. We've yes. been shooting all day in Wadi Ram for the latest production of Ridley Scott, which is all the money in the world. And I believe, as I said, you had a lot, I mean, a tight schedule. Yet, this is not your first time in Jordan. You've been here twice before? I have been twice before, yes. Once I was for here Pr for yeah. Prometheus and once for The Martian. And the third time in Jordan. So, what do you have to say about Jordan? I guess you got to know the country, the people, the crew, the setup, the locations now. Well, I have to say we love Jordan. You know, we've had nothing but good experiences. You know, as we've just been discussing, it has been Wadi Rum on all occasions, which definitely has to be one of the most beautiful places in the world. Um, great location, you know, we've got to know people very well here. We've, you know, we find it a very user-friendly place to film and certainly and the, from the locations we've seen, they're amazing. Locations are good then and the crew? Crew's the great. Yeah, I mean the crew, you couldn't get more enthusiastic a crew anywhere and they seem to really enjoy what they're doing which is always makes it a more enjoyable experience for us you know and we've had so much help from the authorities on every occasion you know from the royal family where i you know prince ali's been incredibly helpful to us you know i know your highness the king knows probably that we've been here on every occasion and we've just you know had great cooperation from everyone. Okay. So everything went fine and everything, do you think anything has to be improved in any way? Um, you know, the thing that we probably touched on earlier today is, you know, it's a very competitive industry and it's a, you know, it's very competitive for countries to attract films to their areas and their territories, you know, and the tax credit system or tax advantages have become more and more aggressive, mm -hmm. which of course filmmakers like because, you know, it helps. Getting any film made is always mm -hmm. difficult. Mm -hmm. So if you can get some incentive to be somewhere, you're attracted by it, you know, and I know there, you know, through the Film Commission, there's been a lot of hard work to, you know, get an incentive, which basically means at least you don't get charged the VAT. But I think, in this competitive market, you know, you need to see if you can get a more aggressive tax credit. You know, we were talked about it earlier. The UK has a 25% tax credit. You know, Australia has this tax credit that varies between 16 and a half and 30. Would, we're working uh, on it, and yes. I'm sure this is a very good point to be taken into account. And one more thing, you've had like more than two thirds of the crew, as far as I understood, was Jordanian. So, um, and mostly young people who just came yes, to the Yes, a industry. lot of young people, yes, which is great to see, always good to see. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of faces that we have known from the other two experiences, but yes, certainly on this trip, there are a lot of new young people. I will have to point out, it also seems to be there were a lot of new young female people, which mm -hmm. is good to see. Um, but yeah, everybody seemed incredibly enthusiastic and very hardworking. We have, you know, it was only a short shoot, but a very challenging one. You know, we've done two time periods in one day. Um, you know, we've had fantastic large vehicles on set, which, you know, the coordination's all worked incredibly well. Okay. You know, nice. a lot of that's down to a certain gentleman called Fuad, who you all work very closely mm -hmm. with, who's, you know, been fantastic. and has been around on both our previous experiences as well. But yeah, it's, and as, as I said, it's nice to see a young generation getting involved and I also think it's nice to see more females getting involved. Coming from you, I mean, a producer with a huge experience with the, who has worked and is working with the most and well-known uh, directors. Um, this is great to hear that. But also if you had a piece of advice to give to those who are aspiring big producers, who aspire to be producers at the international level, what would you say? I would say, keep at it. Remember, no film is easy to get to make, and every one of them seems like it's, it's a battle to get to the starting line. But, you know, it all comes down to determination, and if you're determined, you will get there. <laughs>